All right, ladies and gentlemen, Vincent here with the Technology Concierge. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up a RAID array on your Mac uh, <clears throat> running Big Sur. And we'll be using the RAID Assistant, which is built into the Disk Utility application. So the first thing you'll do is open that. Now I have an external 4-bay hard drive mount that's got four SSD 2.5 drives in it. And I just bought some cheapy drives, uh, 25 bucks, uh, 240 gig Kingston SSDs. I bought four of them. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create this RAID set. So I'm going to go ahead and click RAID Assistant here. You went to File, go down to RAID Assistant, and that brings this box up. And we're going to do a striped RAID 0. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the RAID 0 isn't actually a parody or for redundancy. A lot of people use RAID for redundancy. That would be the mirrored RAID, which is going to give you an exact copy um, on two or more disks. I want striped RAID, which is going to write data evenly across multiple drives and should theoretically, well not theoretically, but it will increase significantly the speed of those drives because you're going to be taking all of their speed and effectively combining it together and it, it can really make your drive a lot faster. So I'm going to hit next, go ahead and select, and the device that I'm using is a SaberNet um, <clears throat> hard drive bay, and they're uh, actually not very expensive, and they support RAID 2, which is great. They're $51. They are USB 3, um, and I very much like it. So I'm going to label this video editing and hit enter, and I'm not going to do that yet because I want larger chunks. We're going to do... 128k on my chunks and I'm gonna hit next and then create now I did the larger data chunk because what I'm gonna be processing and storing on this drive is gonna access larger data chunks you don't necessarily have to do that I'm doing it for my practicality now I use a similar system on my Windows system on my Windows computer which is um, and I don't want that there and what Windows Storage Spaces does is basically this. It creates an internal software-based RAID setup that you can use in your system, which for my purposes is very useful because I don't then have a crap ton of different hard drives all over the place that I have to manage and organize. I get one lump drive that I put everything in. It writes across everything, and I'm you know good to go. So we're going to do no on that. We're going to hit new folder, DaVinci, database and there's a reason for my madness there and then we're going to take these guys we're going to go control c command c apple c whatever you want to call it and i'm going to paste this and this is going to be about two minutes for a 16 gigabyte data transfer which you know is not the fastest thing i've seen but it's certainly not bad it's a lot faster than it would be if i was just using this backup plus drive here uh, that really ends the tutorial. There's not much more to show outside of this. So once this finishes copying, I'll actually go in and we'll edit this video. But I will post links for the equipment that I'm using in the video. So please feel free to take a look at that, purchase them. I'll post a link for the hard drive and also a link for this little SaberNet port. I have two of these four bay SaberNet drives and they are quite fantastic. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great evening.